Hello everyone, this is Mr. Informo back with another thoughts, analysis, and rant, and rant. This time it is the Sony Xperia 1, 10, and 10 Plus. Yes, I am late on this one because I've been trying to watch a lot of videos and looking at the specs for the Xperia 1, 10, and 10 Plus. So basically, Sony Mobile Division has a new leadership, yet for some reason, they feel the same. So as usual, let's get on with the specs, okay? So we have the three models that Sony presented in Mobile World Congress 2019. That's the 1, the 10, and the 10 Plus. Man, I hate these names. I absolutely hate it. It reminds me of HTC One, HTC Ten, and so and so. So, let's get on with the specs, okay? So, Xperia One has a Corning Gorilla Glass Five and Six. The Ten and Ten Plus is to be determined. No one knows the specs yet. The screen on the One is an OLED, while the Ten has IPS I'm just gonna call the 10 and 10 plus because they're basically the same and the one has a 4k resolution 4k HDR with triluminous display and X reality engine while the 10 has 1080p screen the sizes on the 10 is 6 inch and 10 plus is 6.5 the HTC one has 6.5 inch screen same size as the 10 plus so when it comes to chipset the one gets uh, Snapdragon 60 uh, 855 Snapdragon 855 while the 10 gets a uh, Snapdragon 630 and the 10 plus get Snapdragon 636 what's the deal why, why the different chipset anyways Obviously, they all have uh, micro SD uh, expandable memory card slot up to 512 uh, storage. Uh, internal storage is 64 to 128 gigs and 6 gigs of RAM on the HTC One, while the 10 and the 10 Plus get, get 64 gig uh, storage, while 3 gigs of RAM or 4 gigs of RAM, depending on where you are. On the 10 plus 64 gig and 4 gigs of RAM or 6 gigs of RAM depending on where you are again why the difference in specs here so the HTC one has three cameras in the back okay 12 megapixels at 1.6 with 5 axis OIS optical image stabilization 12 megapixel f2.4 fit to 2 millimeter telephoto uh, with phase, uh, dual pixel phase detection and it comes with two times optical zoom five axis optical image stabilization wow and then the third camera is 12 megapixels f2.4 16 millimeter ultra wide wow unbelievable that's a monster of our camera modules right there. So the HTC 10 has 30 megapixels f2.0 and 5 megapixels f2.4, which is the depth sensor. So basically it only has one camera. And then on the 10 plus, it has 12 megapixels f1.8 with phase detection autofocus, eight megapixels telephoto, uh, F, uh, 8 megapixels f2.4 53 millimeter telephoto with two times optical zoom so basically the 10 plus has a, the better camera here and the HTC one again basically has all of the video features eye tracking they got the expertise from their Sony Alpha camera division to help with that 4K with 24 and 30 frames per second, HDR 1080p, 60 frames per second, 5-axis gyro electronic image stabilization. As for the 10, 20, uh, 4K 30 frames per second and 1080 30, 30 
frames per second. That's it. Now as for the front camera, HTC One has 8 megapixels f2.0, wide camera 24 millimeters and they're all the same throughout. Also the only one that has 5 axis gyro EIS is HTC One. The rest they don't have it. Uh, both have stereo speakers. Here's a here's the odd thing, okay? HTC One doesn't have a headphone jack, and yet the HTC Ten do. Again, I still don't understand the inconsistency here. Obviously, the HTC One has Dolby Atmos with its uh, front-facing speakers. Not only that going back to the screen it is actually 21 by 9 screen ratio which is actually much more slimmer good with the hands if you know what i mean and all of them have uh, usb type c but the htc one has 3.1 type c while the rest have 2.0 inconsistency here and this is where I suddenly got a problem with. The HTC One has 3300 milliamps battery. The HTC 10 has 2800 milliamps battery. And the HTC 10 has 3000 milliamps of battery. And the colors depending on the region is black, gray, purple, and white for the one. Black, navy, silver, pink for the 10 and black navy silver and gold for the 10 plus so with all the specs out of the way oh i forgot to mention they all have fingerprint scanner on the side so now we have all the specs out of the way what do i think of the one the 10 and the 10 plus well I'm going to say it right away, there's too much inconsistency, there's too much fragmentation. We were supposed to get a new CEO and I was watching this video from Pocket Now. The title was New Leadership, Old Habits and that basically sums up this whole presentation of new Sony mobile devices. I don't get it. Now, don't get me wrong, I think the HTC One has a monster of a camera module and a, a monster of video camera settings and features. But what I want to know, how does it go toe to toe with the LG V50? Because the LG v V50 is to me is a monster of a video camera phone. Now, what else? I think of the, these phones I think that the 10 and 10 plus are lacking it's too bad it's basically the XA division of last year's or maybe a few years ago whatever you want to call it not only that I'm not too fond of the chin and the uh, upper designs of the ratio they're just they're, it's not balanced it's not equal or it's not uh, perfectly balanced on each top and bottom in regards to the screen placements and again while making these phones limmer for the hands which is good making things easier to handle what do these phones offer other than the competition let's compare this to the competition I mean let's look at the price here I don't think the price have been uh, announced yet well it doesn't look like they've been uh, announced but let's probably get around eight hundred to a thousand dollar maybe HTC I mean Xperia one that's looking like a nine hundred to thousand dollar phone but again would you pick this phone over the Samsung Galaxy 10 I don't know anybody would I, I don't get it we're looking at a 6.5 inch screen and yet it doesn't have as much of a battery compared to the 10 at uh, Galaxy S10s so th th that's just my thoughts here it's just I'm just basically repeating what pocket now said new leadership old habits so let's get on with the analysis let's put these phones in the market I don't know if the consumer will notice that Sony 
mobile division have released new phones? I don't think they would. Every time a new phone comes out from Sony, the first few days, celebration, yeah, whatever. After a couple of days, no, no one noticed. There's no lingering effects. And for some reason, this has always been the problem of Sony ever since they separated themselves from the Ericsson partnership. Sony Ericsson phones were an absolute beast of a phone from features to features. But the 10 and the 10 plus and the one, there's just too many inconsistency here, especially between the 10 and the 10 plus. And I will get to that to my rant later. Now, this is very similar to LG or it could even be worse than LG doing enough to be relevant that's all it is and if you're gonna offer these phones what do these phones offer something different I need to sh tell me or show me as a consumer that this phone is the best phone out of all the competition that was presented in the mobile world congress heck this phone should be the best phone or one of the best phone and yet for some reason it's just an afterthought and so looking at it from a consumer standpoint will the consumer care no if sony market this heavily then yes they'll notice but again i don't know if these phones are good enough to even make Sony relevant or even at least grab some market share. Now let's get on with my rant take care. Here's the thing, okay? Let's let's talk about the colors first, okay? The one has a black, gray, purple, white. The 10 has a black, navy, silver, pink. And the 10 Plus has a black, navy, silver, gold. Why? so many colors why are there different colors between the 10 and the 10 plus not only that why do you make the uh, the xperia one have so boring colors you got black gray white and purple really really i mean it's so boring in between the 10 and the 10 plus you got black navy silver pink black navy silver gold again why the difference in colors why can't you just pick a color theme and stick with it another thing for a 6.5 inch screen why does it only have 33 milliamps battery even the Samsung Galaxy S10 which is smaller have a larger battery than that. The H the Xperia 10 has 28 milliamps battery. And yet for some reason the Galaxy S10e has a 3000 milliamps battery. And the HTC 10 uh, um I'm sorry. The Xperia 10 plus has a 3000 milliamps battery, okay? It shares the same footprint as the HT uh, Xperia 1 and yet it has 30, uh, 300 milliamps battery less than the Xperia 1. Are you serious? Are you kidding me? I just don't get it. I really don't. Now let's talk about the chipset here. The 1 has 855. No, sounds great so far. The 10 has 630, Snapdragon 630, and then the 10 Plus has a 636. Again, why the difference in chipset here? Why, why not just make the, the Xperia 10 have 636? Make it the same. I, I, I really don't understand it. And the worst part about this is that the 10 and the 10 plus has a headphone jack and yet the one which is a bigger screen the same screen as the 10 plus doesn't have a headphone jack if you're gonna talk about the 
your audio engine which these phones do have why not just include a headphone jack I mean you have hi-fi uh, hi he headphones so why not take advantage of it have a good ecosystem it I, I don't get it Sony have a monster Sony is a monster of a company when it comes to electronics they have head headphones they got media players they got car stereos they got great TVs they got great cameras I mean they got great turntables even cassette players CD players whatever electronics you can think of Sony is a monster at it and yet for some reason there's too many inconsistencies so Sony also has a 4 H, uh, Xperia 1 has a 4k screen and yet it only has 33 milliamps battery this means that the battery is not gonna be good and I just watched a recent review on the Xperia 10 and the battery was not sufficient you would have based on the review you would have to charge this every night until it goes to zero so I, I just I just don't get it you know you can call me a Sony basher all you want but I have a Sony Xperia XZ1 compact this thing lasts me two days or even three days depending on how much I use it but the battery is great picture is great I mean it's good to hold and this is my last brand where is the compact phone where is the Xperia 1 compact I can't find it apparently based on the rumors people don't like compact phones really anyways so what do you think of the 1 the 10 and the 10 plus let me know down in the comments below okay so that basically concludes my rant and that basically concludes this video my thoughts analysis and rant and rant of the Xperia 1 10 and 10 plus I will see you in the next thoughts analysis and rant and rant here, Mr. Informal. Bye-bye.